Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We are coming to you live here from PAX Unplugged 2018 with our daily spotlight stream. But first up, who are we? As usual, I'm Matt. I'm Anne. And we're joined today with not one, but two special guests. We are. We've got Cynthia from Stronghold, and we've got... Chuck from Indie, uh, Indie Games... Nope. Indie Game Studios, but he did start with Stronghold, so he's just part of the crew now. There you go. You know what? You said Indie Game Alliance earlier today. I did. And that's what I got stuck. So, you know, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's a long day. It is. And I, it I, is. I asked you this before, so I'm going to throw this one to Chuck. Chuck, how's your day going at uh, PAX Unplugged right now? It's really good. I got to take a nap. I was all curled up. It's really warm in the conference hall. I show up to, for this live stream, and he's taking a nap over here, tucked in a little blanket. I don't know. He's had a pretty cushy day. He's, he's had a nice day. I had a real hard day. I had run a lot of demos. So I do have to ask, why do we have a marmot with us? <laughs> well, because marmots are a part of this game. <laughs> <laughs> and what game is that? This is Spring Meadow. All right. So tonight we are showing off Spring Meadow. And another Uwe Rosenberg. Um, part of the line of Cottage Garden, Indian Summer, and now Spring Meadow finishes up the line. Fantastic. Of this tetris -y kind of PC game. I'm excited. All right. And one of the, the things that are in the game are marmots. So, okay, yeah. fair disclosure here. Uh, this game has a lot of green. Beautiful nature game. Very serene. We use green screens here. So uh, all the up-close and personal shots I'm going to show you uh, are going to be really odd. So we, oh, but okay. look, it's a floating marmot. It's a floating marmot. We so. could just kind of put them off into the corner all over the background. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got uh, the marmot tokens here, but what kind of game is Spring Meadow? Spring Meadow, you are taking a lovely stroll through the Swiss Alps Ooh. on a spring day as the snow melts. Well, don't mind if I do. That sounds wonderful. It doesn't it? And so it's, it's just it's a nice crisp day, and we're going to be walking along, and the snow will be melting as we go. Fantastic. All right. So one of the nice things about this whole line with both Cottage Garden and Spring Meadow is the board. Ever play with those people who, like, take too long because they want to analyze every single piece? No, I can't say that I have. <laughs> well, th then maybe this will be new. Then, <laughs> you know, so the board, which again you will have a hard time seeing, just because we can't get it under there, and it's green. Yes. Right. Well, I can I can do this here, so we can see the board a little up close and personal here. It's a double-sided board, so okay. it is set for both three players and four players. So there's actually a solo variant as well. Oh, really? So cool. you can play it solo, or two will use the two and four side, mm -hmm. and three will use this side. And the board is marked so you know if you're the first player, you will always be choosing from the column and or row that has the one dot. If you're the second player, you will always be choosing from the two, three, and then it goes back to one. Okay. okay. And the corners will also choose diagonally oh, across. That. So you can start looking ahead to start planning your move. Okay. Sounds like a lovely thing to do, That's doesn't really it? Cool. So instead of just sitting and waiting, you can start planning what piece you want. Yeah. Okay. Right? So the, also, the boards are oriented. There's a little teeny symbol in the corner, which you probably can't see. Oh, this one up, up there. Here. And okay. it will tell you whether your, your board should go this way or this way. It actually, you can also tell by the numbers. Oh, so okay. that if your table orientation, your boards fit better like this, you can walk this way. Or if they fit better like this... With this size table, the boards felt better you this know, way. That's a surprisingly thoughtful thing to have in the game, where you have basically a way for you to alter the shape of your game board to suit your environment. It yeah. is, and that's something that I don't. I don't know if I've seen that before. Have you seen anything like that no, before? No, 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 no. I, I really kind of. It just. It's another thing, and the board's two sided, so you don't have to adjust your your you know your player. So right. they're really thinking about the players here. I like that a lot. That's so cool. So. This game with three players could be two rounds okay. or four rounds. Okay. It will never be more than four rounds. Okay. Because what How you so? are fighting for is this lovely Swiss Alp pin. All right. And that's actually like a replica of a pin they've used for like hiking tours in the Swiss Alps. Oh, is that's that the cool. Edelweiss flower? I do believe it is. Ah. I'm not 100% positive, but I do believe so. 
So that if you get two pins, you win the game. Okay. And the scoring round, we score, you get a pin. And if you if you run both the first two rounds, the game's over. Oh, wow. Okay. So it could be two rounds. If we all win a round, it could be four rounds. Gotcha. All right? Okay. So we don't know. Okay? So what you are basically trying to do is fill in your board with green okay. so that you're walking along in the snow melt and you're trying to fill in your board with green. Mm -hmm. Okay? Where they can't really see... So I'll, I'll put my board a little bit more into the camera there. So we're starting, and we're going to go left to right on this? Yeah. Well, generally, to be honest, you could put a piece way up here, way at the top of your board if you wanted to. You could put it way up here if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. It would be a legal placement. Okay. Might not be a smart placement, <laughs> but it would be a legal placement. <laughs> I like that you preface that. That's Yeah, great. you know, we are going to be scoring from the bottom up. Okay. When the scoring round happens, you are going to be scoring every full round you have, every full row you have, with legal placements in involved. So I'm seeing the way that you're laying this out. You're putting holes over the marmot holes? You, you cannot trap marmots in their burrows. That would just not be nice, would it? No, I, it would I guess it wouldn't be. Chuck, I, I'm sorry if I He needs that. to be yes. able to come out, I don't right? Think that would be very so. Nice. You will score points if you get the the circle on the piece mm -hmm. over the marmot hole. Okay. Okay? But now there is a variant. If you do want to cover a marmot hole, <gasps> you then just have to prove that a marmot can pop out someplace else How do by you putting a marmot over the hole. But now he's not going to score it because there's a marmot in your hole. It's no longer an open hole. Okay. You know, but you do have a marmot on your board. Okay. All right. So, which, you know, really doesn't do anything for scoring. So, but every time you cover a cute. hole, you have to plop a marmot down. Every time you cover, you have to plop a marmot down. So, if we were going along and the time came to score, mm -hmm. which very well could happen at this point in the game. Well, I, I don't think I would have very many points right now. Right. Yeah. But So, so we'll, we'll just use this board. That's fine. If it came time to score, I would score 10 for the full row. Okay. And then I would score the lowest, the, the closest to the full row. So I would score another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Plus one for the marmot hole. Gotcha. I would score, so I would have 18 points. Okay. Okay. And if I won, I would get the... The, the, the eight of life right. pin. But one thing I didn't discuss, and I'm sorry to jump back. Oh, you're good. When you score... Yeah. We're going to go along and take our pieces from the big board. Mm -hmm. When you score is when you move the piece to your row, and there's only one piece in your row or no pieces in your row. We will immediately stop. Mm -hmm. Whoever's turn it is will get this lovely picnic lunch to enjoy. Ooh. Uh, I'm sorry, this lovely picnic lunch to enjoy. I do like a good picnic lunch. And picnic which comes with two points. Comes with two points. So if I had, if it had been stopped on my turn, I would have the 18, 19, 20. Okay. Then say you had 21. I would then give the picnic lunch to you, which the Edelweiss pin is on the back. Oh, okay. Ah. So then you would take the pin. And any open marmot holes you had, you'd have to cover. Because you won the round, so you're starting the next round with a slight uh, backdraft. Okay. Right? So, now another thing I haven't discussed yet, though, is with the little holes, you can get extra traction on your game board. If you line them up, you can score rocks. There's rocks in this game. So, if I sc put through three holes together, yeah. I'd score two rock, which I immediately would have to place in my board, but now I've just um, filled up more of my traction, so I'm, getting, I'm going points. further on the way. I like okay. it. Okay. And then if I moved along and was able to put another piece in here to go over, which that is not a legal placement. <laughs> I don't think I can get that in as a legal placement. But if it was, yeah. I would then score a three rock. Okay. Rocks cap out at four. Okay. And so. there is a one rock. So if you get two holes together, you get a one rock. Oh, okay. fantastic. So, yeah. So just there's a little teeny one rock. The singular Very rock, cute. but it lets you fill in the uh, the gaps. Uh, that yeah. You're gonna have issues. Exactly, with it lets you fill in some gaps and things like that, and that really is all there is to the game. Except, 
I say that, now I think of one more thing, right? Of <laughs> if you do a piece, something like this, that is actually going to score you. Hold on, let me just fill in my board here. Okay. Even though this marmot hole doesn't have a hole over it, right. I have two complete ro rows here. Oh, but okay. I will not score a point for that marmot hole. So I will only score a point for this marmot hole. Okay, so as long as the hole is enclosed, it will count as a full row. Oh, that's cool. But now, if I don't have that piece in there, it's no longer a full row, so it won't count as an open uh, covered space. The row has to be full and enclosed on all four sides for so it to count. So that second row would count as 9 or 10? Like... This, it would count as 10, and okay. then I would also be scoring this third row. Gotcha. So it's still the half as of 10. a third it row. It just doesn't let you score the bonus plus one. You could from just the never put a marmot over it. Perfect. Make sense? Absolutely. What if you covered it with a rock or covered it with something and you popped if a marmot If you later elsewhere? covered it with a rock, yeah. you'd have to pop a marmot hole out of another hole. So you'd lose the bonus point for the other hole. So there's you'd no lose, reason right. to do that, right? Okay. Right. There's no yeah. real reason to do it. Feel like you got it? I think so, but I'm going to ask you for hints along the way because I want to win. Absolutely. I okay. mean, it really what? is a simple game. What? And, yeah, you know, just Chuck has been known to give hints. Oh, no. Chuck, I don't know if I can trust you, buddy. Why do you but think he, he has been? But she has been treating him very nicely today. She's been buttering up. She oh, know, yeah. he, know, he knows how the marmots work with the holes. Yeah. He's got some insider information. He yeah. does. <laughs> yeah. I needed to go to a reliable source. You mean you went to the Marmot Underground? <laughs> <laughs> so is there a, uh, a rule or a condition for first player? Sure, put me on the spot. And, oh, I, actually, I wait. To. Yes, it is. It's the last person to take a, a hike. That was not me, other than the, from the hotel over here. Uh, <laughs> and that's probably you. I have... Ha run a Cub Scout pack, and yeah. we do a lot of hiking. I would say that's you. That's me. So I love hiking. Remember how I talked about, of course, I keep thinking of one more thing, but <laughs> this, I think, is the last thing. Remember how I talked about that look ahead feature? Yes. You may, we have a little Ooh, compass. compass. You can take a piece, put the compass in its place, try it on your board to see how it fits in the hole, mm -hmm. and you can always put it back. So until you move the the signpost, your turn isn't done. Uh, this just marks you have to put it back where you took it from. Mm -hmm. So they're, once again, they're thinking about the player. You need to put it back. How many of us remember exactly what space we got it from? I like that. So they gave us a marker to mark where it is. Because, come on, we want to turn it around. We want to see in the... Because there's no rules against flipping the pieces and over oh, and right. spinning the time them. she's done analyzing it, she doesn't... I mean, anyone's done analyzing it. It's uh, You don't remember where you put it. Exactly. They don't call so it we do have a marker. Analysis paralysis for nothing. Exactly. All right. So first player. And I'm going to pick something from this column. From this first column. Of course, I didn't bring my pointer with me. I normally have, a, like, silver pointer. Okay, and we're scoring, uh, we have our board laid from out horizontally. Green to the right. So from left to right. Yes. Like we're reading. Okay. We're, reading right. our, uh, we're reading about our scroll through now, the woods. are these dual-sided? Can you flip them you over? You can flip them over, turn oh. them around. You, can, you just don't turn them on your side. And clearly they must fit on the board. You can't have half your piece hanging off, so don't even try it. It's Chuck like will come me. and attack. It's like you know me. I think that I'm going to take this big piece right here. Okay. And lay that down right there. And then you're going to move your, your post there. I shall move your post oh, for you. Yes. So anything along this. I like this one over here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this bad boy. And I'm going to put that right over here in my grid. Fantastic. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see... Uh, all of our grids, at least for the most part, and yeah, see kind of what we're doing here. I can scooch my rocks in here and push up over here. All right. I'll move you. Are you done? Yes, I am. Done. I just want to double check. I shall take this little. Not only can I reach it, but I can cover that marmot hole. Okay. All right. And back to you. So she can move along pretty quickly. Absolutely, yeah. 
We could I'm have a take devastatingly this. quick um, scoring round. Corner piece right here. Yes, okay. And then that's the end of my turn, so that goes to Matt. Huh, okay. So I'm going to take uh, the the second one in yeah that one there now can you please put the uh, that yeah the, the the compass piece in there I'm just trying to rearrange things not you know I don't know if I'm feeling this one now when we get to the end of this column are, is the post gonna go around the corner nope, it's gonna go to this little corner where the three dot is and it's gonna be diagonal and it's gonna go diagonally across uh, the board and then this will be the next one. So yep. this will be my next first turn will be right. through this area here. Okay, so and I can start thinking ahead. If he takes that piece, we're going to have a devastatingly quick first round. Because? Because then that round next oh, round will only have right. one piece in it. Which, that's uh, not a bad thing, but so it would be very end, interesting. So it ends immediately after I take the piece then? No, 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 not yet. Okay. Not until it gets to that row. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so yeah. there's two more turns before that point in time. I'm uh, one two okay. Oh, I see what you're saying there. Okay. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of scaring me. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back. Now the one that's two spaces down from that, the the Z-shaped one with Can the flowers. The, yeah, I like that one. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. Um, I think I'm gonna wind up taking this one here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That's gonna be my turn. So okay. feel free to move very my nice. post down. Now you're here in the corner. Could I have that corner piece way down there? That this one right one there? Oh, and that's because you're on the diagonal right now. Because I am on the diagonal with the three little dots, which are too small for them to see on camera. Mm -hmm. But there's three dots right there in right. that corner. And mm -hmm. I'm going to flip this around this way. And maybe later I'll be able to put a hole in there to get three rocks. Okay, so we're going to move it this way. And I'm going to take this little piece right here, and I'm going to put that right there. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm happy with that life choice. Well, now you can revisit that piece you were looking at before. I can. So can or you could go all the way down to the other end. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take this one here. I think this one fits nicer. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to put that right there. All right. Is that how you want to spin it? So... The deal is, though, if I get another marmot hole and put it adjacent to this one, You'd get then a I get a hole. single hole. If I put a third one, then... You would get a double rock. So I still keep my single. I would then get a right. double. Or you could think about spinning that piece around a little. Oh, that's a good idea. Hey, it's Flip. like you've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> so Tetris wasn't your game, was it? Uh, you know, <laughs> I, forget, I forget that you can mirror them around. Uh, so See that? You, that's a nice like that. fill in there. That was good. No, I, yeah. that's, that's what I meant to do. Yeah, I knew you were just yeah. you just wanted you just wanted to emphasize the whole exactly. <laughs> yes, he really wanted to point out the feature where you could flip things. Exactly. Yes. Could I have that very first piece? Absolutely. Thank you very much because that welcome. fits very nicely right there for me. So I'm ready to move along. And All it's on right. you. I think I'm not going to take that one. Maybe I should. Maybe the T. Nope. I'll take this piece right here. And we're going to put that right there. Okay. Since over to me, I'm going to take this L-shaped piece right here. So nice. I like that. And was that what I wanted to do? I think it is. Could be what I want to do. Right there. Is that what I want to nice. do? No, it's not. It looked good, right? But I'm going to do this instead. So it's going to give me a single rock. It'll yeah. give you a single so rock. So I'll take a single rock. There you are, Matthew. And I'm going to put that up here. When you get a rock, you must place it immediately. Right. Okay, so I, I, I placed it up here in mine. That's the end of my turn there. Okay. So you I got the I diagonal. I'm, I'm just looking at the diagonal here, looking at the different pieces. There's not the shape piece I want. So. 
So I think I will take, oh, can I get a? I think I shall take this one right here. Ooh. Because it'll Z in there like that. Might not be exactly what I wanted, but it'll work. All right. All right. So, Anne, back to you. I think I'm going to take this little piece here. The zigzag. Yeah, I was very worried that that's what was going to happen. And you've got a very nice field going over there. You know, I'm trying, Matthew, and I appreciate that. I think maybe no. We are coming close to a scoring round. I, at most, will have two turns. Okay. I think that's going to go back. That's a three wide. I believe in you, Ann. Oh, this one was here? Yes. Yep. See, you need your little compass. Yeah. Sure do. Hmm. Okay, I'm happier with that. I think that's my best choice. All right. So, Anne, can you scoot that along? Sure, of course. And I'm going to grab this one right here. So with this one, I'm going to place it like so. It gives me three in a row. It also gives me a two in a row at the same time. Nope, that gives you four adjacent holes. So it gives you a three. Can I downgrade that if I wanted to? No, okay. So hold on. I, I don't want four adjacent holes, though. That's the problem, because I want to fill you in this. You want a two rock. So I'm going to turn it like this, and that would give me my three adjacent holes, correct? Yep, and there's your two rock. Okay, so that gives me my two rock. That fills that in, and now I've got my complete first That is row. a really nice-looking board. I, thank you. I try very hard. You're doing that all right, That is a really nice-looking board. It's filled in nicely for you there. All right. All right. Oh, sorry. Wow, those pieces don't work for me at all. <laughs> But that's okay. Hmm. Ah. So how many Butterfingers. Of those two. I really needed something that would take this hook. Yeah, but that would have been pieces, a great one. All the pieces don't don't work for me, so well, I'm gonna okay. take this T right here. Very confident in your choice there, Anne. Yeah. Oh, I could see why. That was a good one. So I'm gonna scoot this here, and then I like this one right here because it's gonna let me do this. There you go. And so now, now I've got my second row complete. Now it goes the corner. Okay. And <coughs> you get your lovely diagonal, which... No, there's only one piece, yeah. so we stop. Okay. I get a picnic lunch. And hold on one moment. <coughs> See, that you got a little breadcrumbs oh, yeah, from yeah, the yeah. lunch, you know. <laughs> you know, that French bread kind it's of, very it crusty. has a little crusty yeah. to it, right? So now score your board. Okay. I have eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. I have... 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no, right? It only counts as points if there's a hole underneath your hole. Right, so the, these two here, correct? Oh, you are absolutely correct. So 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. seven 27. 27. You're absolutely you correct. Wait, oh, that's I was testing you. It's you funny. were. The 10 was for the full row. And then my second row is full as well, so it's 20. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. Then I have one, two more. Uh, then I have the last row, which was incomplete, but you it still scores each piece. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then you get one additional point for each hole over a marmot hole, which yeah. is one and two. Oh, that's twenty-seven. Okay. So I don't have any complete rows. So you have nine. Neither do I. Don't okay. feel bad. Neither do I. So then this doesn't score. No, you get you get nine, nine for each. Nine for the bottom row. Yeah. What because about that's your first that's your first incomplete row after a complete row. 
You don't have a complete row, so right. it's just your first incomplete. Okay. So you get nine. Okay. Which is 10, one grass 11, over every time. 12, because you get three for your your cover, your encircled marmot holes. Okay. 10, 11, 12. So you got 12 points. 12. Yes. So clearly he won, and he gets the picnic lunch and the... The token. It was a delicious lunch. Thank you so much for that. Yes. I appreciate it. But now you do know you have to fill in your marmot holes. Oh, boy. So I have to. How do I fill in my marmot holes? I put marmots you in my marmot holes. You choose the marmot of your choice. And Tell okay. some of them oh, have the marmot of my choice. The marmots of oh, your choice. Oh, oh, this one looks like a mischievous marmot, so what I like him. See, if you take a look, this one has kind of got his hand, his paws like that. Like, he's plotting something. So that's He's my ready marmot. to give somebody the finger. Some <laughs> of them are marmot tushies, and that's adorable. It's like corky tushies. So I'm gonna and I plug any one of the holes then. No, right? you have to cut plug all. them both. Oh, all of them. Okay, cool. That one and then how about this one over here? He's a little chubby. This is just marmot. Chuck's family, you know. Yeah. Yeah. This is Chuck's That's Bob and sister. Martha. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, cousins. Okay. It's a big family. Yeah. So now we need the box that we have on the floor. And. And we I fill in cues. the entire. And we fill in the entire board with new pieces. Okay. Without removing the old pieces. Ah. I told you I knew my cues, Matthew. I believe you. We talked about it before. She's on it. Oh, she's on point. And all Chuck, the time. Chuck whispered. Yeah. Chuck's, uh, Chuck's the real key here. Uh, Chuck's the Ann whisperer. Is that the horse whisperer? He's the one who taught me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's good. You got uh, straight from the marmot's mouth. Exactly. And awesome. now we begin again. If you win this round, the game's over. Oh, okay, we that. cannot let that happen. I know. <laughs> now, how does the scoring work? Is it still cumulative from what it's we've had? It's still accumulative. Oh, wow. So, okay. which one of the things I love is I get a nice hook piece here, and I'm already, I, I get those filled in. I yeah. go from almost like no scoring to, to right a nice chunky, ch chunky row. She fills in three little holes, and she's already at 30. Right, so she's just looking for some back-to-back -back marmot holes there. Yeah, or, yeah, that she just got, she's just got to line up some marmot holes there. So awesome. little clumps of snow showing through the earth, and she is, you know, and then she's right up there, and she's, like, surpassed you by a lot. Oh, yeah. She'll Whereas you've got a lot of weird shapes going on. And yeah. So I really love that there's a nice catch-up mechanism. Absolutely. So there you could set up very well on your first You turn. could. Maybe not get a lot of points, but then you could really expand accelerate to the finish. Absolutely. Um, so does this reset in position one, or do we keep going from where we were? We keep going from exactly oh. where we are. Now it's my turn picking up where I was. That's on the diagonal. And I would like, could I get the second piece in on the diagonal? The F? The F. Okay. Because that's my little oh, hook no. right here. Oh, no. Right? That'll fit right in there, right? I'm, I'm smelling collusion. And did you put that one up on purpose? <laughs> Intentionally. And there actually was another piece that worked, too. Oh, jeez. She, you know, she let me set it up nicely there. All right. So then it's going to go over to player one. So, Anne, it's on you now. All righty. Well, I need... Mm. Um. I'm going to take this one, I think. I think I'm going to put it here. Okay. Okay. So then this is going to progress here, and then it's my turn. Uh, I'm going to take this guy right here. I think this is what I want. Just double checking right now. Yeah, I like this. So I'm going to go and put this one right here, and then that's going to progress forward. So now it is your turn. It is my turn, but this I want to point out a little bit about that being able to think ahead. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't say this out loud because somebody could take the piece you wanted, but I need to fill in this little gap right here. There's a little corner piece, but there's also that little zigzag piece on my next diagonal. Yeah. If you didn't take it, I would have an excellent piece there, too. So, would I rather take one of the other pieces in my row, or do I want to take the one that I know fits now and risk that that diagonal piece will be there? I'm just so you can plan ahead and think, oh, well, I'll set myself up better later. But yeah. now I'm going to take the little corner piece that said that I need right now. So, perfect. could I get that little second one in? This one, perfect. Yep, you have got just it. a little bit better reach than I do, and I get a one rock because Ooh. I got my two little lined up together. 
And so I get it, which I have to place immediately, and I shall put it in that little spot. All right, and it's your turn. I'm going to take this piece right here, and that's going to go there, and that's going to give me a little one rock. All right. And I can rock and roll right there. See, she's up to it. 10 already. So then this is going to progress here. I need to look at my options here. So if I do that, that would be good. That would not be that would be pretty good. So this does not count as an open marmot hole, so I can't chain this one anymore? You can't chain that anymore. Uh, There's now a marmot in it. OK. Um, this is difficult. I could see. So now you only have those two. Yeah. Well, yeah, because there's no one hole. So what I'm going to do here is, yeah, I'm going to take this guy. And I'm just, I'm thinking about this one right now. But That's I, a crazy piece. It is a crazy piece, but I think I like it. I think I'm going to put that over here. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do that. Okay. I don't know if it's a good move, but it's oh my no. move. See, I was did this because I will only get one more turn before it scores again on my oh turn. Oh, no. okay. No, that's it. So, oh no, geez. this row is a scoring, scoring row again. But luckily, the piece I want is on this diagonal. Can I borrow your pen a second? Sure thing. <laughs> the reach is just a little bit more. <laughs> and that one slides right in there on that side. So I'm good. I was able to get the piece I wanted before it scored. That's a, that's that, a nice setup. See what there. the catch-up mechanism happened? Yeah. I mean, I went from, what, I had 9, 10, 11, 12 points yeah. to I have a nice, solid walking path now. Absolutely. All right. I'm going to take. And that was on, what, four turns? Yeah. This one. I'm not. It's something I really like about this game. That just because you're behind doesn't mean you're going to stay behind. It's swingy without it being, like, uh, crazy, crazy swing. Yeah, right, yeah, it's yeah. you still have to kind of set yourself up to swing. Exactly, but you, you, you're not out of the game if you if you're out. You know, you don't win, and you know, I hate those games. There's no way to catch up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, I took this little piece. I got th uh, chained up three of my little marmot holes, so I got a two rock piece, which doesn't help me with this one. But I didn't see any other way. There was no other way for me to get another uh, two rock, one rock. Well, yes, there would be. It might not be, it would be harder, but instead of putting that piece there, yeah. if you moved it up and put it in, oh, that's the piece you took? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Not with that piece. <laughs> not with that piece. I thought you put the L, the giant oh, L. Oh, no, And no. I was like, oh, if you just move it up one, you would, have you'd that. have a two hole, right. but, you know, you could chain it again later. All right, so there, I'm going to go ahead. I like this piece right here because it allows me to do this. Then that gets me another one rock that I'm going to place right over here. Oh, uh, I know what I should have done. Ah. Okay. So then it goes back to your turn, but wait comes a minute. back to me, and... There's nothing there. Empty. So again, the little picnic lunch comes out. Mm -hmm. And now we score. Yes. So I now have 10, 20, 30, 9, wow. 39, 40, 41, 42. Plus your, your 2? 43, 44. Yes. That's pretty good. So I That have went from 12. Yeah. To f in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like moves. you've played this game once or twice before. <laughs> I, I, the piece is just, she, she set me up good when she lined <laughs> up the board. Uh, so I have 20 plus another 8, so I've got 28, 29, 30 in that turn. So very minimal gain for me there. So I have 10 uh -huh. and 9 because it's incomplete. Right. And then for my marmot holes? Right. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh-huh. So 23? Right. So I get to keep my picnic lunch, flip it over to the pin side, but I need to find some of Chuck's relatives and cover them Love up. Your marmot holes. Right. And I have three different marmots here. So that's going to decrease your score by three points. By three next round, just like you would have had two more exactly. this round if you had not had two. Okay. Oh, and now I have to pick a piece? 
Yep. Yes. And I knew it. I saw that is it. That's such a good piece. Such a nice piece. And I can put it right here over a marmot hole to get another one in case I need to. And that's three, which will give me a two, two rock. Up, which will fit in so nicely right there. Oh, man. Which will slide in there really oh, nicely. No. And then along moves the signpost. Okay. And back to you. So I think I'm going to take this little piece here. So you're set up really good. If you get that one, uh, those couple of holes filled in. Yeah. You've got some really nice big chunky pieces running along. I got to get these uh, mm. these marmot holes to all set up nicely. All right. So. So there also, see how there sometimes is a time and a place to cover a marmot hole yep. and just put a marmot through? Sorry, I'm just fixing that there. Um, harumph. What do I want to do here? Okay. So I'm, I'm trying to look ahead here. I'm not going to telegraph, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep my fingers crossed. I'm going to take that uh, chunky looking one second in with the flowers, the yellow flowers. Yeah, that one there. And I'm going to put that right here like so. And so that gives me a a one rock because I have two It gives of you a one rock. And that allows me to fill this last big gap that I have here. Nice. The last gap that I have stuck in the middle. Very nice, very nice. All right. Okay. Over to you. I think I would like the one all the way down there at the end. This bad boy? That bad boy okay. right there. Because I'll slide that right there, Ooh. cover some territory, and get myself a three rock. Very nice. So that would and be a three well, rock? Well, this Did is where there are options. options. There's oh, there's a I could have oh, a corner other. rock or a straight rock. This okay. is a three, right? That's three. Yeah. So I think I want the straight rock. And if you look very closely, it has some toads hopping <laughs> across it. I don't know whether in the ah. ghost rock it would. You can see the little toads. So if you there. look at I love the detail. So, yeah. like, there's a lizards. snake on that rock, and there's some lizards and some chipmunks. I like it. All right. So, Anne? It's a very nature-y game. I, I like it. I mean, the green says it. It looks very serene on the table, but I like the little things like that where you're seeing the toads and the, the, the different flowers, so it's yeah, not just the, a blotch of the green. The detail. Yeah. So I just put this L piece down here. It gives me the two. So that will give me my rock there. And then, Matthew, that's your turn. Okay, so I'm eyeing this one right here because that's going to fit really nicely right here. And set you up for something else to line up. Exactly. Nice, nice. Oh, I see something really nice for you there. I see two things. Yeah. But I think I'm going to take this square right here. Interesting. So that I can put it here. Because it now lines up four holes. Or uh, one, two, three, four, five holes. Which gives me a four rock. Which allows me to fill in this gap right oh there. Oh, my goodness. That was well played. Okay. So this is going to come here. Okay, so Anne. I think I'm going to take this plus sign here. I think I want to put that here. I, I need to see this one up close and personal. So I, I want to see what's going on here. I don't know if I can make this fit. No. That's but see, that's why they give you a compass, to help you find direction. Absolutely. Okay, so that, that's not my friend. That one's not my friend. But what is my friend here? That's the real question. Hmm. 
And you do know what is happening on the next turn, don't you? Uh, the next turn is going to go the diagonal. Oh, there's only one left. So it's going to go to scoring. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I was just, I was trying to look ahead, and it was like, oh, well, there's no real need for me to look ahead at this <laughs> moment because I don't know what pieces will be there. Yeah. Okay, so what would be the most beneficial for me to score here? I think it would have to be... This one here. So I'm going to take this one. Okay. And then that would go on my board like so. I'm trying to give myself the most possible points for this upcoming round of scoring, but I don't think I'm going to get it. I think some people with all their rocks. I, I did. I got really lucky in the rock department. <laughs> so right. if you want to move it to the diagonal. Yes. And then I'm also getting lucky in this particular case. That I have a picnic lunch. Yep. Oh. So that gives me an extra two points. Um, and it is, it's marked so that there's like the line for 50. Sorry, I'm messing my board up. Oh, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's really wedged in there nice. That piece fit on there really well. But so I know by the 50 line, the little darker line that's down here. Oh, your 50 line is like fifty buried. Right. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So 59, 62. Wow. Oh, I got one. I got 49, 50, 51. 41. Okay, but you take a us. look at her board. Yeah. Take a good look at her board. And she got 49 points. All those marmot holes really added up. Yeah. A couple of good pieces. And she would have flown by if we were having another round. Absolutely. But we're not having another round <laughs> because that's two. Oh, man. So. Well, I don't know. I mean, I say. I, I want to I wanna rematch. Yeah. Personally. Yeah. Uh, are you down to defend your title? Sure. <laughs> okay. Um, Chuck, I thought we were supposed to be bros. That's, that's all I'm saying here. So. I think your purple hair is really weird. <laughs> <laughs> so it plays very quickly. Absolutely. Very simple to pick up, but it is. Uh, very uh, thinky. You know what's nice is it is very thinky, and I think I really like this game. I think this is the kind of game where I want to play because I want to play it a couple of times to get the feel for it, and I think that after I get my hands on it, I'll be really good. I like that the art in here is really calm. It is. It's calm. So you got to think about the, but it's not going to burn your brain out. Right. So it really, it, it is, it's one of my favorites in this line. I, I can, you know, so it is only a three game line. Mm -hmm. For me personally, I switch back and forth between Cottage Garden and this one it, with Indian Summer coming in. And this one might sneak it out for me just because. It's very zen. It is. It's just so pretty and zen, and, and but gardening and stuff is also very nice, you know. Oh, but absolutely. But, but no, in, in an era where there's so many games where you're blowing stuff up in nuclear fighting. apocalypse and we're just uh, fighting a hike. each other. We're just taking a hike and we're looking Having at this gorgeous picnics. scenery and seeing the marmots. Can't cover up those marmot holes, folks. I wonder where the idea for the marmot holes came from. Maybe he was hiking in the Alps and stepped in one. <laughs> Twisted an ankle. That sounds like a terrible reason to have a... It's not a pleasant hike anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Cover up those marmot holes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he just noticed them, like, frolicking in their little, you know, chucking his buddies out there, and also on a spring day. All right, so, Anne, you're still the last person to take a hike. Go take a hike, kid. <sighs> I am. I am. So we'll place you over there. Okay. So let's try this again. I'm going to take this little Wow, Ann. I know it was a little aggressive. Very aggressive for a hike. It was a very aggressive hike. Okay. All right. So I'll put that here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take one of them. I don't know which one yet. Um... I'm going to try something a little different here. Let's go with this one. 
I'm going to place that a little backwards right here. Nice. I think I'm going to do this one. Oh, the big old block. Yes, she's just chunking it out there. Yeah. yeah. Let's cuddle in. And if you notice, our boards have the same number of holes. Mm -hmm. They're just not in the exact same place. Right. So... I'm going to take the third one down. One, the two, three. Down. Little L. Yeah. There you are. Thank you. I'll just use that to. Oh, that's longer than I thought it was. Okay, so I'm not taking this one. Thank you, though. You're welcome. Um, got to change up my strategy a little bit now. Can I have that long T? Place that right there. Okay. Excellent. And I am going to go in for this one, and hopefully it will do what I want it to do. <laughs> it's kind of like a dragon boat there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like the clouds. You look up at the clouds. You well, now I'm ships? reading flowers. <laughs> reading flowers. <laughs> Maybe I need more hobbies. <laughs> there are worse things in the world than that's reading flowers, that's right? very true. Hmm. Okay, so that's on that there. Not a huge fan of that. This game inspires a lot of talking to yourself also. I've noticed. It does. <laughs> but, you know, you usually know the answers. Man, you're, you're giving me a lot of credit. This is very zen. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this one here. <laughs> oh, that is an uglier piece than I thought. Okay. <laughs> I just like that you, it was an ugly piece. All right. I think I want to try this one. Wasn't what I was originally thinking, but... Try before you buy? Yeah, I think I am going to go there. There was another piece I had my eye on there, but I think that's what I'm going to do. Could you move it along for me then? Sure, of course. So okay. now I see it's going to be ending on my turn. Yes. Not this next one, but the one after that. Yes. Okay. Ikes, I should have taken the other piece. <laughs> 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 so let's see what I can do here. Now, do I want to do setup here, or do I want to do scoring here? And I Only the shadow knows. <laughs> So I think, I think, what, do I, what am I thinking? That's a great question, Matt. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna, you know, I, I think I'm going to try this one. I'm going to try something a little different. And I'm going to place it. Nope, that covers up the marmot hole. I don't well, want to do that. Well, you can always have, have it pop out the other side. I, no, no, no. So no. See how you just never know when the scoring is going to happen. Man, that's that's not what I want to do there. So, oh, I didn't put it there back. It was in the second position here. Yeah, I think so. Um, apologize for the analysis. No, it was not here. there because then it would not end on yes, your turn. Yes, so it was one down. So it was one over. Yeah. Take this one here. Let's do that. And I'm going to get myself a single rock. Have a rock. Thank you. I got a rock. Rock it out, man. Rock it out. <laughs> All right. So now, so now we go to the, go diagonal. To the diagonal. And? Just kind of looking at the diagonal. Got a nice plethora of pieces to take. Could I get the tea over there? Sure. Tea time. Thank you. Tea time is always good. And I'm going to flip it over so I maybe have a chance on that. That like little clump of snow matching that one up. Okay. All right, then it progresses forward. I think I'm gonna take this little guy right here, and that'll give me a one rock. I got a rock. Which I can put in right there. It's a nice one, Ann. So then it's gonna progress one more forward, and then I'm gonna get the picnic basket. Yes. Picnic basket. And Yo, boo -boo. we're gonna <laughs> total up our scores here. 
So I've got eight, nine, plus two, so I've got 11. I also Ooh. have 11. And I also have 11. Oh, what happens now? Ooh, so it progresses to, I'm trying to remember how the book phrases it, but it progresses basically to me. <laughs> because to the person I won, but here let me no. I need I, I need the, the 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 phrasing because I have had the fewest turns to get to this point. She just had a turn, and you had the two bonus points. Oh, okay. So yeah. it it is. I'm You're trying to remember how it phrases like clockwise furthest from or. Counter, counterclockwise furthest from the person who's active player. Woo. So I'm counterclockwise gotcha. furthest, furthest from, from the active player. Gotcha. So I, I think they might have made it a little more convolu convoluted, but I, I they would have had to work logic. on that phrase, you know. Yeah. But it, it's basically so I scored more points with less turns. Understandable. But now we fill the board. Now we fill the board. Okay. We get stuff. That's a rock stuck in there. Well, there were, I didn't pull all the rocks out <laughs> of the box. There's a lot of rocks because the game can go longer time. And okay, so that I can start. Throw it. Zigzag goes there. Okay. Okay, so I still get to choose one, though. You do get to choose one. Okay. What do I want to do? That's the real question here. And I'm going to some very oddly shaped ones here. And they're never there when that's the shape you need. I know. Yeah. I think I'm going to try this one. Yeah. I like that. Oh, I'm that's put nice. That one there. So very nice. Okay. So then this is going to scoot on down. And I'm going to reach up and... Oh, crap. Because I can flip that one around and fill that in chunk. All right. And it's on you. That it is. I think maybe I want the weird zigzag. Do I want the weird zigzag? Or do I want this piece? No, I think I want this piece. That's a very nice piece, because that can line yes. you up with a... Uh, if you can get a nice little clump of snow there, Yeah. that would be an excellent piece. So this is me over here. Gonna hmm. What's going to help me out? So that is... Mm. I didn't do a good job setting this up, that's for sure. So, if I do, wow, I'm a, I think I messed up in how I did this. I'm not seeing a piece I like on my turn either, so don't feel bad. Okay. It's very kind of you. I'm going to uh, see how She's this She's got one, all the nice pieces. I know. She, she lined herself she up this, this time. She did this this time, yeah. You're um, welcome, guys. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this one here and put it here. She's bribing Chuck over there. I, I see it. May I see the zigzag in the corner? This one? Yep, and here's the little compass. All right, I guess I'll take that piece. I'll put it there, and I hope that I can... Match some stuff up later. Okay. All right. You can move it along and... And knew exactly what she wanted. Well, it was oh. an excellent piece for her. Yeah. So I'm going to take a one rock and a two rock. Cool. Um, a two rock and a two rock. Two, one, two, three? Yep. And then you got one, oh, two, three one, over two, there. Oh, one, two, three. Hey. So okay. a two rock and a two rock. A two rock and a two rock. And that's an excellent way of if you're good like she is. Yeah. You can line up your rock your to get one piece to give you two separate clumps 
of snow bound together. All right. Hmm. So I'm going to take this one here, and I'm going to put it like so. Now, I might have messed myself up here, but I'll worry about that at a later time. <laughs> <laughs> Move that there. I'm going to take a look at this piece. Well, that's longer than I want. I think I'll stick with this piece, though, put it over here, and get a one rock to fill in my little spot right there. Okay. All right, I'm good. And Anne? Behave. I'm going to take this piece right here. It's going to go right. She's rocking it. Ah. ah. Go right there. So I'm going to move this here. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to put it here. That's going to give me a three rock. Can I get a straight three rock? Yep. That's four yes. connected, right? Okay, so then I'm going to fill in that three that I was That's so nice. worried Excellent. about. You get the frogs time. this time. And then back in the corner for you. Yes. It's a racket. <laughs> um. Compass to see how this looks. Hmm. Do I want to do that? Sometimes you just got to kind of move it around and tell it who's boss. Oh, I don't think I want to do that. But that piece isn't any better. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, yay. Oh, look at how nicely that fit. I'm glad I decided to try <laughs> that. <laughs> okay, so Anne, it's over to you. Oh, she's, she knows what's up already. She was planning ahead. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So this goes over here. I am not a fan of any of these pieces, really. Um, and then, let's see. I'm trying, to th I'm, I'm trying to plan ahead here. That, that, that. Okay. Doesn't help me a whole lot, which is scary. Um... Any of those help me later on? No. Not really. My favorite part of all of this, Matthew, is listening to your inner dialogue. I, mean, I know. I, I, it's, you get to see the ramblings of a madman. <laughs> I love how solid your board is coming out this time. I mean, it is. It, and you're hitting every mark. So yeah. it is a rock. <laughs> okay. Sure, we'll do that. That's going to pass all over to you. Could I see that one way down there at the oh, bottom? Oh, yeah, you got it. We'll remember it's oh, way yeah. down there at the yeah. bottom. Do I want to cover that hole for a nice... I think I do. I think I'm going to put that there because I don't know where else I will find a nice little piece like that. And I will cover a hole to do it. Gotcha. All right, now this one I'm having some troubles with. We will be scoring on my turn. The diagonal? Yeah. Yes. Well, no, I think this is actually supposed to be in here. Is it? Yeah. All I'm right, then we sure will not. pretty sure that was there. But I think that might be my best option. Anywhere I put this. Oh my, I should have put the compass, but I'm pretty sure that this was here. Compass, please. Can I have the compass?
Compass, please. Sure. Right, let's do some of that. Hmm. That was my other thought. And I would need a one rock to do it. But if I cover up my marmot hole here, then I lose one of my marmot hole bonus points. Eek. Eek. That would be two marmot holes for no real great reason. No, Chuck doesn't like two marmot holes covered. No, we don't. You will lose his favor. <laughs> oh, you don't want to lose Chuck's favor. <laughs> his blessing. Oh. Yes, I'm happy with that. All right. So if you could scoot it over for me. Sure. I'm going to... Uh, okay, so if I do Have that... Have you guys looked at any of the pins that Penny Arcade does here? You know how trading pins is so big here oh, at yeah. PAX? Oh, yeah. Have you had a look had a look at any of the pins? I haven't actually. We've been kind of oh, stuck in this room all weekend so far. So, I've look how heavy of a pin that is. Oh wow, that is that is uh, hefty, hefty, hefty. It is. I mean, they're not. You mean a you lot? Know. You see, we were very surprised when we got our pins. We have the nice stronghold logo pin, mm. but feel how heavy of That's a pin really that nice. is. That's really nice. I just have mine. My head started to spin around. We'll have to get you like some Twist Gaming good. pins to add on to there. There you go. Very cool. Yeah, so it's a very interesting, you know, one of those things that it's a pin. The pin culture is very heavy here at PAX. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And so I want to look at this one right here. I think this might be not my best bet, but maybe a more strategic bet if I can get it to fit anywhere, which I don't know if I can. This is a really horrible move. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this to myself. I don't know why, but I am. Where are you going with all that, Matt? You know, I don't know. You'll see. Don't Go worry about it. Going on an adventure? He's going on a hike. I'm trying something. Okay. <laughs> you experiment. You be you. Don't stifle <laughs> my creativity. <laughs> Oh, so Please. close. Oh, but it is surrounded. I just won't count it oh, as a point. I forgot that, that you can do that. Yes. All right. That, my so friends, now is a picnic lunch. It's a picnic lunch. Lunch Look time. Look how nice it is with a green apple and cheese. It's very healthy. Bread and tea. Oh, that looks like a lovely hot, warm cup of tea. That makes me really happy. Now, I scored... Uh, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I scored a flat 50 oh. because I have 48, 49, 50. Okay. 6, 7, 8, 48, 49, 50, 51. Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4. 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. Yeah. 53, 54. So you get to keep that picnic lunch, flip it over, and it's now your awesome. token, and you need to cover, you need to find the marmots of your choice. That's Chuck. <coughs> Hi, Chuck. Yeah. That's definitely Chuck. Okay. It's his headshot. It's his headshot. That is an adorable little marmot, Toshi. He's going into the hole. That's his brother, Bill. Where's Ted? He's on an adventure. Oh, and is it an excellent adventure? <laughs> it's quite I'm going to let you fill the board. Thank you. She's adventure. busy winning over there. I know. I don't like it. <laughs> Make it stop. She was very avant-garde with the last board. This one has been, like, really, like, <laughs> yeah. lined up. Every marmot hole. I'm making this good for Anne. That's Anne's internal monologue right there, <laughs> by the way. No, oh, those yep. are rocks. Those <laughs> rocks. And one, two. Oh, of course, I give Anne the good square one there. Thanks. Okay, so now I get... Oh, you get two square ones. They're both in the one rows. 
That's fantastic. <laughs> Good job, me. <laughs> but look at all the fun shapes that I get. <laughs> well, you're trying something over there. Oh, but wait, look at that piece. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she can't take it. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, that works out really nice for you, Anne. <laughs> Matt, is that here? Uh, I'm going to take this one here. <laughs> this one makes me happy. I put that there. <laughs> Very good. Oh, goodness. I think I need... <laughs> You see something else that fits really nicely? You're welcome. Oh, yeah, I see it, too. That's great for you. She's so happy right now. I could tell by the snort. <laughs> and Chuck. I get a one rock. It was definitely Chuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, Chuck Chuck does have a little bit of a snoring so problem at times. Could you hand me that piece? This one here? Oh, yeah. yeah. You mean the T that's got the marble in the <laughs> right perfect Right where you spot. need it. Yep. That one. Yeah, so can you good. scoot it along there? Sure I, I do like this one here because, oh, it's one longer than I thought. <laughs> no. No. The struggle is real. Uh. Um, oh, darn. Let's see. What else do we have here? Can I see? Hey, be glad you don't have the diagonal. Look at those for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, boy. <laughs> wow. Oh, those marmots. <laughs> oh, those marmots. I mean, it's the one piece that's missing. Oh, but you get a rock. I got a rock. <laughs> if you do that, yeah, you might choose not I, to. I think I'm going to do that because I want to get that rock. You I have a rock with a snake on it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Snakes are nature's creatures, too. <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> not going to argue with that. It's, it's a true statement. <laughs> it's because you made fun of her pieces on the diagonal. Where I can't <laughs> no, see. No, they're bad. <laughs> they're bad. <laughs> it's very Picasso. Yeah, they're worthy of being made fun of. <laughs> um... Let me see this one. See if I can. F All right, I'll do that. I'll flip that around and maybe there'll be something better at the next round. <laughs> Shawshan. I did not say anything. You didn't have to. Okay. So. I kind of like this one right here. So I can put this here. It's a nice one. Covers up a marmot hole, and it sets me up for some stuff down the line. There you go. Okay. You do need to get some snow clumps of snow I'm, I'm lined working up. working on it. I'm working on it. Okay. So the nice three-piece doesn't work. I guess I will take that's what I want. I guess I'll take this one and do that with it. All right. Okay. Oh, she's not wasting any time. She's thinking ahead like she should. Go right here. I like this one. I'm going to take this one. Puts that there. And I get another rock. A one rock? Yeah. It has something on it, but I can't tell. Um, it looks like a mouse or a rabbit. One of the two. It's a rabbit mouse. It's a hybrid creature in this wonderful forest with the marmots. So now we're going to go on the diagonal. May I see that piece second? One? Nope, that one's not on the diagonal. No, oh, oh, diagonal. Oh. Yes. So let's see if that will go around. I will hope. Remember, that's the corner. I'm going to take this one. You can put that one back. Okay. 
That just fit too perfectly. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. Oh, nope. It went right in the corner, didn't it? No, no, no. It was there. Yeah, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, so that worked, worked out nice for you as well. Yeah, it's good Good to hear, Ann. <laughs> Thanks. Um, let's see. What works out best for me here? What works out best for Matt? You know, I'm, I'm, it's an important thing. None of the pieces on the board. <laughs> That's what works out Ouch. best for Matt. All right. So, okay. Got a couple here. That might be okay. That one's not bad. Not great. It'll work out. But It'll not work bad. Out. This one. I keep seeing pieces I want in other rows. Yeah. <laughs> I have row envy. Okay, so I'm looking ahead, and that's gonna that's gonna end my turn, right? That's gonna end the scoring right there. Yeah, scoring will end here. Mm -hmm. So I need to find a way. Well, it might end sooner, depending on what piece you take. It might end here. That's true. So that might affect your decision or not. Right. Now, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to do what I want because I want a one rock, but I can't get a one rock because of the way my holes are lined up. I can Matt, only this get this is supposed to be a nice, calm garden game. Oh wait, by the next one in, could you get a one rock? Oh no, you'd only get a two rock. Yeah. But I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab this one here. I'm gonna put it I think here would be best. And cover up that marmot hole? Yeah, I so think that's a really great idea. Matt, you should do that. That gets rid of two points, but I get two more points. I'll keep this. This is fine. Okay. I think I need Okay. Okay. So then this is going to progress over here and it's on you. She already knows. She yeah. wants that nice chunk. All right. Oh, and it did end earlier. And I think you would actually get more points for using the cross. Shh. Oh, yeah, sorry. How? It's okay. Be uh, I'd have to cover up this marmot hole. For so I'd get two rows. Yeah, you get two rows out of it. But nobody else. No, oh, she'd only get Cynthia. one row out of it. Because this piece wouldn't be on there. Yeah. Isn't oh, that the piece you just took? Yeah, yep, that's the piece It's only like covering took. up one marmot hole. So you're losing out on two points, but you'd be getting more. I think he is right. Because you'd score that whole second row. But I had another plan for that one. Okay. It's going to so end before you have another plan for that one. Because you're going to win. Well... Because I don't know. this is going here, and then I'm going. But one of you two is going to win. It's not going to be me. I think it's going to be you, especially if you use the cross. Because you're almost at 100 where my 100 is here. So if you uh, fill in those two rows. Yeah. But, it w I mean, it wouldn't fill in. I was looking at this piece. And then you get a rock, too. And then I'd have to cover up a marmot hole. And then, I mean, I could put a one rock. So you get that point back from putting the rock in, from covering the marmot hole. Okay. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Yeah. But I still think that, yeah, you got that point back for covering that marmot, marmot hole. So then I go here. I can't take it. So you get the two points. So I get my two points. I had another plan involving that. This piece here, yeah. which would have fit perfectly here, yeah. and then I could use the rock, that other rock here. But if this is going to be the end of the game, yeah. it then I'm not well going to get that chance. One of us, it looks like one, one of us, us is going to win. So, so that hits our two, our two pins. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. One, two, three, four, five, two. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 81? 66 for me. 
76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81. 70. This is 78. Right. 79, 80. You won by one point. Down to oh. one wow. point. Oh, you got to steal it from him. Here's a nice picnic. One, one point. One point. Wait, I didn't think I had it. I, I really, you, you were really, that was yeah. so you were really neat. doing it there. But it's a good little game, isn't it? That's fantastic. Yeah, I could definitely play this again. It's a ton of fun. It is. And, <laughs> you know, so the box is 15 minutes per person. We've done two games now yeah. with teaching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in a little over an hour. Hour and 15, hour 20. Yeah. So, and it just kind of went by. It didn't feel like it. No. So, is there any part or aspect about this game that maybe we didn't get a chance to show off in our playthrough, or did we kind of check all the boxes? For I think we checked all here? the little boxes. Yeah, we really did. So we got to play two full games, and we all know how we felt about the game. What is the gamer that's going to love this game? Who's the right gamer for the game? So I rarely will say this because it's rarely true. I do think it spins, sp spans a little wider spectrum than a lot of games mm -hmm. because a gamer can game it. A mild, just a casual gamer still is just walking through the... And they understand Tetris. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's still a... So it really does hit a lot of people. Absolutely. Because I mean, it's not... And it's and the people who are really into the heavy games... Yeah. It, it doesn't take so long that, that... You know how like some games, they're like... It's too much time invested for what I get back. Oh, yeah. The time investment is not a lot in this. Oh, no. absolutely. And, I've, so, I've seen and you still get a little... Open up like a game, and then they start reading the rules, and they're just like, no, and then they put it away. But this is one of those games where, like, it's got a nice table presence. It was very easy to pick up, very easy to play, and it was enjoyable to play without it, without any sort of chaos whatsoever. And there can be a lot of table chatter, so it can absolutely. be... It can go... It can be quiet... And just the inner monologue going over here. Yeah, that, that's me. This or, is, or you can have your. You can play this with a glass of wine. Oh, absolutely. This is. That's exactly where I see this game. I see this game for girls' night, or like family. Look, I know you're not supposed to eat near your games, but this is bring it out at the dinner table. Or how about for a nice picnic lunch? Well, obviously, it's a lot of pieces <laughs> to go out for a picnic, yeah. but you know. But I think this is definitely the the kind of game where you get together with your girlfriends and you have a nice glass of wine and you're solving you're solving your puzzle yeah. and you have your chit chat going on. Well, it's just so one of my game groups and I have multiple. There's four of us to get together weekly. Mm -hmm. The other three are heavy duty gaming guys. Okay. They enjoy it as well. You know, they 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 you know we go from like container and kanban yeah, and yeah, yeah. Yeah. to they can enjoy this as well oh, it's where an i'm not gonna game. lie some of the lighter games that i pull out they're like we'll humor you yeah, they, they, you, <laughs> you know we'll do it because bit. it's your week to pick <laughs> but, but this is strategy this is this is that tetris uh, matt's i would say has different taste in games than i do mm -hmm. and i mean it looked to me like you were enjoying the challenge oh absolutely of this. yeah i definitely enjoyed the challenge of it i mean the i enjoyed the inner monologue cool. <laughs> I, I mean yeah who doesn't want to hear that <laughs> Um, but no, it's it's definitely interesting because I could see a bunch of different ways that you can potentially play this strategically. Yeah. Uh, you know, going for kind of the the speed out, kind of like what happened in the first game that we played, right. where the first round was extremely quick, uh, or even going and progressing to I'll let a couple people win the first round, uh, first couple rounds, and but I'm going to build gonna something really solid. Have and a dynasty over here. Yeah. Uh, a Marmot Dynasty. A Marmot but it's Dynasty. just it sounds like a new show on the, the Learning Channel, The Marmot Dynasty. Tonight on Marmot Dynasty. <laughs> Will Chuck and Barbara Get keep it together? together. <laughs> There's a veggie Will they eat that carrot or not? There's a veggie tale song called Barbara Manatee and it's a love song about a dress soap opera and that's exactly what I thought of. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure I should be ashamed on saying I know what veggie tales are. <laughs> oh yes. Let, so I so I visually Barbara have that now. Manatee, manatee. I love I can see tales. the cucumber singing and you know. Oh yes. Oh goodness. It's Larry. It's a silly song. 
It okay, I can see it. Yeah, I got it. No, the embarrassing part is I don't have kids. Yeah. <laughs> So, Spring Meadow, absolutely fabulous. What other titles uh, should we be keeping our eyes peeled for from Stronghold? Well, Chuck has told me that if you order now at Stronghold.com, you can get Forum Trojanum, the new Feld game, by Christmas. Oh. But you have to get ordered. It just arrived. It was on a boat. The boat landed, like, while we were at PAX. Oh, Oh, wow. wow. Okay. So, if you pre-order... You really should get it by Christmas. Wonderful. So, you know, Stephen was telling Chuck, and Chuck told me, so... um, Does Stephen have a lot of personal (laughs) conversations with Chuck? No, not really. Oh, okay. So it's just the insider info. It was just the insider info. He usually talks to uh, Stephen Bonacardbard. Oh, Stephen Bonacardbard. Yeah, Yeah, that makes sense. Exactly. But since we left him someplace, I'm not even sure where he went. He was at BGG, (laughs) and, you know... (laughs) He went to sea, and, you know, that that's that cardboard gets around. That's amazing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so that that's the big thing that's, like, you could get it by Christmas. The street date isn't until Jan- end of January, February. So if you want it for the holidays. That's the way to do it. That's right. the way to do it. Because, you know, you're not going to find it in the store. So where can our viewers go exactly to get more information about Spring Meadow and all of the other Stronghold releases? Strongholdgames.com. And Spring Meadow is out in the wild. The other thing that people have been looking for is Kanban is back. Ooh. And it is out in the wild. It's street dated the 28th. So, why we again, why we were here, another big game people have been looking forward to has street, hit the street and is now available out in the wild. So, find your, lo- your, your favorite place to get games, be it your friendly local game store or... Online, where you can order in your underwear. <laughs> do, you know, you're find not, find you're your spot. To do that in your friendly local game store. <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> it might be why you have special rules, <laughs> or you have a special go- game store. Exactly. Yeah. You know, um, but yeah. So those are a couple big things that that CO two second chance is coming back. Mm-hmm. That's going to be a big one too. But a big one is a new Feld. Come on, who doesn't like a Feld? So. And for Christmas. Feld for Christmas. Feld for Christmas. I like it. <laughs> New slogan. Well, Cynthia, thank you so much for coming. Well, thank you for having us. us we, we absolutely love having both you and Chuck on the stream. Chuck was a little quiet, but I think this is a first time stream jitters. It is. So it's fine. But uh, no, seriously, thank you so much for joining us. We really do appreciate you taking the time to show off Spring Meadow. Anytime. And you beat us at we, it. We love twice. being here. We love Twist. And so anytime. Thank you very much. Thank Fantastic. You. And thank all of you for watching at home. This is going to conclude today's coverage here from PAX Unplugged 2018. But we'll be back tomorrow early in the morning. Probably, I think we start at uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. But, you know, we'll be streaming all day long. And, again, we've got another spotlight at the end of the day as well. But with that, we'll see you all tomorrow. Signing off now, I'm Matt. I'm Anne. Good night, everyone. Good night.